Ask our Oprah Wallace Fox to come up here. He's a he's our backbone in our community, a very great leader. And I'm sure all of you have heard him talk before. He is a fighter for our treaties, and we are very, very proud to have him for our Okimao. system when they came across the water they entered into this two row wampum and then in 1764 there was the treaty of Niagara they said we'll do this again to the people that don't understand our history the two rows represent the governance system the ways of our people and the ways of the newcomer and they could never intersect. You cannot stand in both canoes. They represent the canoes. But what has happened since the creation of the infamous Indian Act, they've come across to the other side. And that is wrong. Makes me wonder, as I was sitting there, where the media is to all you non-Indian people here. If word was out, there was a drunken Indian on Parliament Hill. There was a fight. How many media would be here? Because it's negative stereotyping. But you know what? We don't need the media because that's not what we're here for. It's the creator that watches all today. And that's who we're here for. When they came and entered into this land, they created the reserve system. They created an Indian Act. They told our people what to do, not how to do it. They took the thinking of our people. They took the language and the belief system of our people. And I'm addressing all these people that are listening out here. They created an industry of our people through the residential school era. 
That era is no longer here. But as a result of that system of the loss of language, spirituality, ceremony, parenting, there's two other systems in Canada that we have become an industry. One was the justice system. The other one was the child welfare system. We are still that industry. And that's not how it was in the Turo Wampum. And also in the Treaty of Niagara, not too far from here, there was 2,000 leaders that entered that treaty and wanted this treaty to start over again. To be, rebuild that relationship with the newcomer that came on this land, as these wonderful Kokums have said. But that didn't happen. The old people said when the Kokum wakes up, when the grandmother wakes up, then we shall rise. This is the beginning from Treaty 6 territory. You know, I've been around a long time, about 30 years in leadership. When I look at Canada, and Treaty Number 6 is right in the middle, middle of the prairies, and Treaty 1 to 5 is over here, and 7 to 11 is all the way west and up north, and the pre-numbered treaties are over here. There is a spiritual connection and why the treaty number six was entered five miles off our reserve reservation in Fort Pitt and in Fort Carlton. There are things happening here, spiritual things. What those people have in that house, they have this thing called money. They have this thing called social media. They can control everything. But one thing they cannot control that we have is spirituality. And they will never take that away from us. One of the things that I was taught, I want to share this amongst our own people. See this way we think of colonization today. When the old people entered into this treaty, how it is written in that treaty, they call our people the Red Indian. I was talking to Rory Hopwitz here a couple months ago in Ottawa. He remembers that era before 1980 in the 69 white paper. It was still called the Red Indian. And the spiritual people have said to me, that's why they don't recognize you in Ottawa. That's why they don't recognize you overseas at the UN. Because you call yourself First Nations. In the articles of the treaty, we are Red Indian. But we're thinking it's so derogatory now. Oh, I don't want to be called a Red Indian. But that's how it was recognized in the Treaty of Niagara. The Red Indian of this land. It's unfortunate. There's a lot of decolonization, a lot of deprogramming of our own people that we need to do. But we always practice and lead it through ceremony. For that spirit, and many of our people have said they've lost the language. That spirit of the language is in our DNA. It always has been. It never leaves us. It's a matter of choice. So those people, when these kukums have risen today, those people that are in there, there will be no door that is going to be closed to our people in the future, very, very near future. Because the people are hungry all over Turtle Island, our people, for that identity of this as a people. The language, the ceremony of our people. I've traveled crisscross this country. Many young people I talk to, they want to learn about who we are. The Red Indian, not the First Nations people. That's a different terminology. When you look at history, and Rory and I, I've talked about this and other people. We are the Red Indian, as it says in that house. There are things that are going to happen that I've listened to the spiritual people, to Mr. Harper and his government. As the grandmothers have said, we're not here asking for anything. They're taking back what is rightfully theirs. And they're going to walk away from this hill, taking that back and that message and the eyes and the witness of
of the Creator and nobody else because that's who put us here. So I wanted to share those and thank you to the Gukums from Treaty 6 and the Trinity Territories, the Algonquin Territories, the people that make this happen. To the singers, thank you very much on behalf of our people. They could not put us down. We got up. They tried, and we got up. When Musum told me this a long time ago, we were not designed to give up. I've shared this with many people at home. We were not designed to give up. He's always listening to us and that son. And the spirit of the treaty is alive amongst our people because we come from this earth. And that's the grass. The water that's in our bodies is that spiritual element of treaty. And the fire that's in our heart comes from that sun. And this is why they will never be able to take the treaty, no matter what kind of laws. They've never consulted with Onion Lake Free Nation. They've never consulted on this Bill C-36 on any laws. They cannot and will not have any effect of their laws in Treaty 6 territories where we come from. We are going to make a stand with the support of these people and all those Kukums. They will not do this to our people. Uh, we will pave the way for the rest of our people and relatives on Turtle Island. I wanted to sing a song to honor all these women. The grandmother's spirit is sitting. The grandmother's spirit is rising by the words of this song. I wanted to share that in closing. May Creator bless each and every one of you today in a good, humble way. May put us on this earth to love each other, not to do the opposite that is happening to us. Thank you to the Gokums. Thank you to everyone that is here. Bye-bye.